everyone, it's Naj here and welcome back to my cozy corner of creativity and productivity. If you watched my first video, you know we took a tour around my whole desk, a place where I spend a lot of my time creating content and getting other things done. Today, however, we're going to be stepping it up, literally. We're going to be transforming my sitting desk into a standing desk. Now this is something I've been wanting to do for the longest of times, so I'm really happy that I can finally start with this project. But before we dive into the details, make sure to hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up if you love desk setups as much as I do. And a massive shout out to FlexiSpot for sponsoring this journey. So let's get right into it. So why the change? Now don't get me wrong, I did absolutely love my setup, but after spending so many hours at it, I kind of realized that I was missing a couple of things. First, the quite obvious one, I was missing the ergonomic edge. I cannot stand and work, which is something I've actually wanted for the longest of times. And lastly, not having a proper cable tray for cable management was also a reason why I wanted to actually change over to standing legs. I started off by clearing off the desk in preparation for a complete redo. Then I went further on to fill and paint the wall holes to refresh the space. Then came the new legs from FlexiSpot, to be more precise the E7 Pro standing desk legs. I've owned a couple of standing legs from other brands but I have to say that when it comes to quality, reliability, sturdiness and the opportunity to choose amongst some great cable management systems, the E7 Pro does promise you all of that. Now the next step was to unscrew the Carby countertop since it was being held in place by the screws going through the Alex drawers. Now to make sure that the Alex drawers always stay aligned with the edge of the desk just like before, I adjusted the width of the legs to the gap between both of the Alex drawers and tightened the screws. This then ensured that when I raised or lowered the desk, the Alex drawers wouldn't stick outside the edges of the desk because let's be honest, that really wouldn't look good at all. So moving on to the monitor situation, I decided to put my monitor on a table TV stand which I bought off of Amazon. But before I could mount this, I also had to first buy a Visa adapter for my monitor because as some of you might know, the screen I'm using, the LG 42C2 is actually an OLED TV panel, so it doesn't fit the standard Visa sizes. Now if you are interested in anything you see today, I will be linking everything in the description below, so make sure to check that out as well. After spending hours finding the right equipment like the right Visa mount adapter, the right monitor stand and especially the right speaker stand, I was able to remove everything which was mounted to the wall and fix it to the desk, allowing the whole desk to be much more ergonomical. The speaker stand which you guys are seeing is made up of two different speaker stand pieces put together. 
The whole upgrade did require some degree of imagination and creativity but I'm super happy with the results. Now the flexi spot legs which I mounted do also come with some pretty unique functionalities which make it more practical than you'd think. I can save my preferred height in four different memory slots. The third and the fourth memory slots show the standing and sitting icon which makes it so much easier to navigate in case you want to stand or sit. Another really awesome feature is that if the desk is lowering itself and then it bumps into something like my Alex drawers because you know the space is a bit tight, it automatically stops and lifts right back up. The cable tray management is also a game changer. I was able to stow away all my sockets and wires without too much effort and I covered the whole cable system with a magnetic stick on cover which was provided. And there we have it, my fully functional standing desk with no change to the aesthetics in any major way whatsoever. I'm super happy with the results because as I mentioned previously, it was super important to me to not change the aesthetics I've put together over the past years. And being able to do this and not having to change things around whilst making it a standing desk, that is a win guys, come on. I just want to say thank you so much for watching this video and if you do have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll see you guys in the next one.